What do snowflakes and salt cubes have in common? Both are crystals, but their shapes are wildly different. Crystals form when atoms or molecules arrange themselves in repeating patterns. The environment, like temperature and humidity, decides whether you get a six-armed snowflake or a sharp-edged salt cube. Nature's recipe is precise, and the results are stunningly diverse. Snowflakes begin as tiny ice crystals high in the clouds. As water vapor freezes onto them, each flake grows its unique pattern. No two are exactly alike, because the path through the clouds changes temperature and humidity, altering how the crystal branches form. It's a fleeting masterpiece, melting away as soon as it lands on your glove. Salt crystals, on the other hand, grow in a much more controlled environment. When salty water evaporates, sodium and chloride ions lock together in a strict cubic pattern. This process can be watched in a kitchen experiment. Just dissolve salt in water and let it evaporate. The result? Tiny, perfect cubes, each a miniature architectural marvel shaped by chemistry. Crystals aren't just pretty. They're everywhere, from gemstones to sugar grains. Their shapes reveal the hidden order of the universe, governed by physics and chemistry. Next time you see frost on a window or sprinkle salt on your fries, remember, you're witnessing nature's invisible blueprint, turning chaos into order, one atom at a time. That's the magic of crystals.